It can be so beautiful in here and just so relaxing. I have some leftover wallpaper from the dining room. Well, I've moved three quarters of my books. Well, hello, all of you beautiful boho-ish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Boho-ish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Oh, they're cutting down a tree, so I apologize for the noise. I also apologize for how I look. I'm dealing with allergies really bad. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, record a little intro to let you know what's going on today. I get my library finished and I'm so excited about that. In fact, I just, I just finished it within the hour. <laughs> so I really hope you all enjoy today's video. So this is the state of my library slash office slash per corner and it's an absolute mess and I really want to get it in order. There's so, it can be so beautiful in here and just so relaxing, conducive to study and reading and all of the things. Just a very introspective space, but I haven't been spending any time in here because it, it feels overwhelming to me because I just never really, I kind of rushed throwing the books in here and I never, I mean, I did kind of organize them, but not the way that I had them when they were out in the living room or the dining area. I am a boho girly, you know that. But when it comes to my home library space, I also really enjoy the dark academia vibe. And I don't mean like black walls and stuff like that. If you've read any dark academia books, the majority of them, the rooms were white, but with a lot of wood. So it's, you know, I get, I get the aesthetic of it, that very cocoonish, dark, almost foreboding feel, but that's not what I'm going for when I say dark academia. I'm going for a mix of dark academia and bohemian in here, and I think I can do it. And I have some things that are, I believe are gonna be a really good crossover, marrying the two aesthetics together, at least I'm hoping so. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to do. Like this picture that belonged to my grandparents. I think they bought it in the 70s. It looks like a beautiful painting. But it, and it is beautiful, but it's not textured at all. It's just a print of Romeo and Juliet. I mean, come on, what better picture to hang in a home library than Shakespeare? But I, I want to do something with this to make it feel more like an authentic painting. I have some leftover wallpaper from the dining room and I wish I had enough for this entire wall. I do not. So I'm going to wallpaper this wall instead. And I think that'll be really nice, especially with the desk there. You can get some. He said good. Well, good morning, Ophelia. Good morning, baby. So what I'm gonna do with this picture is I'm actually going to seal it with Mod Podge. Is when the light hits, it's going to look like uh, the paint strokes. Now, as you can see in the light here, you see how it's gotten damaged? It's gotten scratched. There are areas that have been gouged. And I just love this piece so much that I want to protect it. Even here, I, try, I tried uh, to cover up some gouges 
and it just didn't work. I didn't have the right materials to do it. I do now, so I might actually play with that a little bit before I begin to seal it. But sealing it with the Mod Podge is going to serve a couple of purposes. Number one, it's going to protect it, as I said, and number two, it's gonna give it that illusion of being a painting. quarters of my books. I guess that's progress. <laughs> well, it is coming along. <laughs> I still have to finish wallpapering this wall, but I reorganized all of the books and I really like how it's looking. I am hanging up those plates and yeah, so I have all of these things on the floor I've got to find a home for, but I was able to organize my desk and the things underneath, so that's good. Yeah, it's coming along. Well, in the process of redoing my library, I think I've purged about 40 books. <laughs> I think my allergies are just doing me in again. And it hits me like a Mack truck. I start feeling like my eyes are just on fire. My throat gets all irritated. I feel feverish, but no fever. I mean, y'all know. My nose is so red <laughs> from all the rubbing. So I'm just gonna rest my back for a little bit. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the library refresh. I'm really digging how it's, how it's turning out. I hope y'all like it too. The most important thing is I can find my books now. <laughs> I know where things are. When I'm all finished, I'll do um, a shelf tour, if that's something that y'all are interested in. I know some people really dig that stuff. Other people are like, whatever, but I like it. I like to watch bookshelf tours. I like to see what people have on their shelves. You know, I know there's some people out there I like to see what are in other people's drawers. I'm not like that. I just want to see what's I just want to see what's on your shelf. same clothes I had on yesterday. My black fuzzy slippers. 
I did manage to put a little bit of makeup on this face, just concealer and some blush and some mascara because, oh, and some lip gloss because my allergies, I don't want to have anything on my face. I just end up rubbing it off. So today's the day that I'm going to finish wallpapering this wall. and finding homes for the things that are on the floor and then hopefully i can do a review a review <laughs> a reveal a reveal oh jeez Well, it's finished. <laughs> oh, I am so incredibly relieved and very, very pleased with how it all turned out. I wish it was the evening time so that I could show you what it looks like at night because I'm excited to see it at night. I just finished. It's Friday, y'all. The video will go up today. It's taken me that long to get this done, but I absolutely am so pleased with how this turned out. you all enjoyed today's video it took a lot longer it took me almost all week um, to get it finished but you know what I'm really pleased with it there's still other things I would like to do in there I want to change the top of my desk and um, just a few other little things here and there but nothing major the major thing was getting it wallpapered getting my books organized moving the bookshelves um, so that I could get that um, Romeo and Juliet up on the wall. So yeah, I'm real pleased. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. And if y'all want me to do a book, um, a shelf tour as well, let me know. So yeah, anyway, I really appreciate you all spending time with me today. It blesses my heart so much. And I'm just really 
loving this community that we're building here. If you like my content and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really, I can't tell you how much subscribing to my channel helps, as well as giving a thumbs up if you like my video. You know, subscribing is free. <laughs> Again, thank you for joining me. And remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.